it's Gwethorn from Gwethorn's Games and I am currently just outside Shelob's Lair. I'm all the way up here and what I want to do is there are four quests that need to be taken. These are the last quests in this set and the intention is to get to Remit Chant. So I have the four quests. Now let's go in and have a look. Okay, so we, we've been through some. We've been through this before. Uh, we ran through it and it was empty, but now it's not. So now the idea is to actually start putting things in. Star glasses to hold back Shelob and her children. I'm going to block passages, and there's some, going to be some some other things that I need to take out along the way. Okay, let's see what I can, how far I can actually get without aggravating anything. My lady, I fear the mother of this plague to be Unguetari, that most loathsome of Ungoliant's brood that troubled our kindred in Valeria. It shouldn't take too much to get rid of these when they turn up. They do seem to be just normal. Oh, another one, okay. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I don't miss any passages or... the broken Gilgar Gilgalars don't think there's going to be anything up here oh yes there is okay that'd be right I'm do a bit of damage reduction just because okay that's three of them Small passage. So this is going to be a dead end, but there is something up the end here. Okay, let's keep going. There's going to be another ancient page. Oh, that's good. I'll have that red. While slaying her may lie beyond our power, still we may hem her in. There's a brood mother, that's a slightly bigger creature. So the uh, for those that have been following, um, I've been running the Kirith Ungol uh, area okay so that's a dead end that's good now we'll just see if we can get around everything else nothing oh there might be something up there okay little spiderling but nothing else okay so that's a dead end unfortunately we have to go down each one of these to get the to get this done, but if I can get to Remachant, the discovery location, then I'll another little one. If I can get the, to the discovery location, then I won't finish the. Uh, the set 
at this point anyway. What I will do, okay, so I'm going to head, this is going to head me back. What I will do is I will make sure I've got a mithril point and that'll do. And I'll come back at a later date and do these if I need the experience. Odds are I will at some point need the experience. So all I need is 15 of these critters and that should give me you can see what the other two of the other three things are. We're going to head back. Yep, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I've got this one as well. Okay. So, of course, this is Heroic Plus Two. There's ten little spiderlings count, I think. Oh, there's a small passage. I'll grab that while I'm here. I'll grab the second of these creatures too. There's a broken one of those as well. So while I'm right here, reason not to pick up the few things that actually are part of the quest. Now I should go south but I'll do that another time. And we are heading towards the main area. Now here's the uh, the third of the, the fourth of the sets. These are the, the light spitters, so as long as I can take those out with any out any issues. I think we we just make our way to make my way to Remachant Discovery. As I said, I've got three I've got three milestones, so I can I can use one of them on on this. There's a milestone here. Um, the actual level 130 part doesn't kick in until, well, the, the very last part of the quest doesn't kick in until level 130. So that's not going to, to, to be here. But it's nice to not have to go the entire distance to at least further that, that storyline. So I've got two more spiders to get. When the light of Aarendil shone upon her, she quailed and fled back to the gloom of her caves, as if the glimmer itself One more to go. And I've got... Yeah, a few more grey big and things like that. But we are basically in the chamber. We're in the one before, I think. But I do have to come up here. This is where Shulob was before. Oops, let's get up there. Okay, another, and oh, this will be an elite, I'm pretty sure. I'll see if I can avoid that. If I can't, then that's fine. It's definitely in the way. Okay. Let's see how many little things it calls with it. Oh, I shouldn't have hit that. Okay, oh, I thought that was gone. Okay, that's the 15. So I've now got a mithril point back to Legolas, which is what I want. And I can 
continue up to that milestone. Okay. How about that? So get around these, get around there. Now I'll actually set so there's a whole there's a whole area up here which is designed for people that are doing the uh, the quests. So I'll actually go to replace Eked Teodim because that's no longer relevant. Yep. Okay, that's good. And I'll swap it back out. Okay. So the quest giver will will turn up here, but let's go and do the discovery for Remachant. Oops, what have I got? What have I pulled up? Oh, okay. Another ancient page. Okay, we'll read that. Once, when first we were betrothed, you lit the caverns of Doriath with star glasses, filled with Aarindir's glow, the Gilgalai of song. Okay, let's keep going. Not far now. Another brood mother. too far now there we are okay so okay now and you do discovered rumor chant the net of darkness there's another ancient page down here while I await your reply we will battle on against the scourge of Torah Kungur, but the sullying of the veil cannot be stemmed forever. Okay, and if I continue on, my level is too low because it's a level 130 quest, level 130 instance, but it's time to head back to Minas Morgul, I think. So as I said, I've got a Mithril to Legolas, so I can come back. I've got a milestone to, to this area, so I can come back to here at any time and I'll do it offline. I'll just finish those quests and hand them in and we will be done. So, okay, I've got a couple of things that I'd like to do when I'm, in, when I'm around here. I would like to finish the wargs um that's got an elite in it so i think i would at least like to at least like to do that so i need to go to um Desolate land and finish that off and then i think we're going to be trying to do the trolls out the front of minas morgul when I first came into this area, I tried those and they took me out pretty cleanly. Let's see how we go now. Well, first of all, I'll take the wargs just to complete that. Okay. Mount up and we'll go around there and we'll have a look at those. So there was one just just inside, just in there, 
and then we'll, we'll get that out of the way. Just picking things up before I try, I try and get into Minus Morgul. Okay, there they are. Now I had trouble with these before. We'll see how we go. I chose to do the small ones first and I will continue to choose to do the small ones first. Okay, that's one gone, and that's the other gone, so that's the wargs done. Okay, definitely wanted that. Makes me feel somewhat better. Now we will go and see if I can get in the front door at Minas Morgul. If I can't, then I'll go in through the side entrance. But if I can, then that would be a nice start. So I'm going to have to go in and through to the stable master. Go back to Minas Morgul. Will you hear my plight? Minus Morgul, okay, and I will dismount as soon as I get there. Okay, so now we have to go this way. Because I am just here, I have to come round there and go in through the front door. Or at least try. Here we go, this is the front door. Now it's not actually required as 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 I've said before, you can you can come up in through the uh, side entrance, but you have to do some fighting and I will do those in the in the future, but right now I just want to see if I can manage to get in the door here should be two trolls yes there are okay let's try this the same way as i did before i'll drag this one first okay now that i've got its attention Doing a lot. Yeah, it's going to be difficult still. Yeah, not going to manage. Not going to manage it. That's unfortunate. There's some big hits coming in. One foe down. 
Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Actually, what am I talking about? That makes me feel a lot better. Now we try and get the other one. Now these are elites as well, the gate wardens. But um, everything's still on cooldown. That's going to make things interesting, but I definitely want to get Blood Rage black, back before I... 18 seconds. Okay, that will do. Let's go for it. Big hit. Damage reduction, please. Stun whenever possible. I've got left. Got it. Okay. So, they are down. And with those down, first of all, I'll get the rare Mordor chest just because I'm waiting for my health to come back. And then I'm going to do something unusual. I'm going to run for it. That'll do. Here comes one of the gate wardens. Okay, I'm going to have trouble with that one. But I'm in a location that I don't really mind if the character was to die. So we'll see how we go. As long as I didn't have to take both of those on, I should be okay. Four down. Okay, and I am successfully inside. Successfully inside the area, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Exactly where I wanted to be. Heading towards the main gate. So that's the one up to the tower, uh, the, the next tower, which I don't actually want. But I will keep going. So if I can get the eight of them, that would be great. I'll just take him. That's six. Another chest. And there's the Gate Warden's Keep. Okay, so... I'm at the Gate Warden's Keep on the other side, which is what I want. Um, and I need to get another two foes in Minas Morgul.
And there's one over there. Don't really need the adamantite, the unbreakable at this point, but I will take it. Okay, and it's given me friend. Now, what I'm actually going to do at this point, so the climb the ramp between the second and third tiers, okay, but I'm not actually going to continue with that. What I'm actually going to do is stop here, and actually I'll probably stop over here. And I will continue with the Gate Warden's Keep in the next video. But thank you everyone for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye all.